Hey everyone, it's Bobby Joe. Um, today is um is October second, and also today is um well not today but this month is Awareness and um a month for stillbirth, grooming child, and all that for. Um, children that have passed away and I draw them my little girl Olivia had passed away at 24 years old and y'all know that it has never been easy on me it's still hard on me and I miss her every day and this is how it's been since the day she died and the reason why there's pink and red hearts around my, um, my thing is because, um, it's, it's symbols for her, it's symbols for Olivia. And I want Olivia to know that mommy loves her and know that mommy will always care about her and know that who I'm her tribe. Turning down about her was wrong because, yeah, people do say to me, you should be over her death by now. People do try to tell me that to let go and stuff. I'm, it's just my daughter. How can you let your daughter's death go? Like, I had accepted it, but I would never, you know, be okay with the path that she's in heaven. And, I mean, it hurts every day and night. And this month's awareness for her and other babies. And I'm going to be getting some stuff done for her. Um, I, it's not easy on me. It's really not. It's very hard on me as a mom to be a mother I mean, under a child that passed, but I know she's in a better place. My grandmother died two weeks before she did, and I know she's up there in heaven with my grandmother, and it, it hurts. It hurts like a hell. It's not easy to um, go through one death of someone who's been in your life, your whole life. And then a week and a half later, after losing that one person you love, which is my grandmother, and then losing your child, it's, it's hell. And I remember saying to myself the day the doctor said, I'm sorry, your child's gone. Your child's gone. And we tried everything that we can. I remember throwing my phone on the ground. And... I seen my dad walk in the hospital, and I ran out of the room in my dad's arms. All I keep saying, Dad, she's gone, Dad, she's gone. And it it was hell. It hurt. It hurt a lot. And I was angry. I was mad. I did not understand what the hell happened to my baby. Um, Because she was just silent the night before. Like, she, I mean, she spit up a little bit that before, which was unusual for her. She had done that several times. And with today being October 2nd, I'm going to get my nails done. I'm going to um do a few things in honor of my daughter. And I'm going to make sure that I am going to tell my story about her. And make sure everyone realizes when you lose a child, that's not easy. And as a parent, you always think that you should go before your child. You should go before your children. That's the way it's supposed to work. And it didn't work that way. She went before me. I had buried my child. My child didn't bury me. My child had... I had to bury her, and that wasn't, it wasn't something I wanted to do.
but I know I have to do it, and it wasn't easy. Four years today, almost going on five, I still think about it. So, it's not as much pain as I was in in the beginning. It's still, the pain is still there, but, I mean, it, it eases down. It not as rough as it was. I'm not saying losing her and that uh, deals there grow up and that is not as hard as hard but I'm starting to you know accept it. I'm starting to like okay she's gone there's nothing I can do but it's still heartaches no matter what no matter what I do. But I have came terms that my daughter's gone. And I don't care what people think. And it's my child. I know she's a time and I look at her pictures every day. And I know she was a beautiful little girl. She was, she didn't get a chance to do anything. Besides give me the little goo and ooze and all the smiles that she could give me. I have a picture on my wall. Where it looks like she's smiling. I actually got two pictures like that. I gotta get the other one eight by ten. And um I look at every day and I just remember how I felt having her, how special it was. And I'm gonna continue remembering that. And our uh, my daughter Olivia. So every day in October, please think of a child. <laughs> That you guys have lost. Think of someone that's in heaven that you gone through, and just remember deep down that they're an angel in heaven. All right, I'll talk to you guys later, and bye.